The NATO Frigate Helicopter, NFH, is one of two versions of the NH-90 twin-engine multi-role helicopter manufactured by NH Industries. The NH-90 TTH is the alternative version, tactical transport helicopter. The program's prime contractor, NH Industries, is a joint venture between GKN Fokker, Leonardo, and Airbus Helicopters, previously Eurocopter Group. The NH-90 NFH helicopter is primarily used for autonomous anti-submarine warfare and anti-surface ship warfare tasks. The helicopter would need 30 minutes to release torpedoes, 2 hours for operational observation, 30 minutes to reach the area of operation, 30 minutes to return to the ship and land, and 20 minutes in reserve during a normal 4-hour relocation on call operation. The helicopter would need 15 minutes to arrive at the operation site, 3 hours and 30 minutes to complete 11 cycles of 10 minutes each for sonar dipping in the operations zone, and 15 minutes to return to the ship and land plus an additional 20 minutes for reserve during a standard four-hour screening operation. The helicopter can detect, track, classify, identify, and attack hostile ships when used in anti-surface warfare missions. It also possesses over-the-horizon capability. Anti-air warfare, troop transport, vertical replenishment, search and rescue, and mine laying are examples of secondary tasks. There are three people on board the helicopter, the tactical coordinator TACO, who is in charge of mission management, the sensor systems operator Senso, who works in the cabin. The NFH's cabin has an avionics compartment that includes a sonobuoy launcher, a dipping sonar, a tactical coordinator station, and a sensor operator station. The NH-90 is equipped with Liebherr Aerospace and Goodrich Actuation Systems fly-by-wire all-electric flying controls. This full authority quadruplex system reduces weight and improves aircraft agility. Thales Avionics provides the avionics system, which is built on a dual MIL STD 1553B digital data bus. A Honeywell Primus 701A weather radar and 58 by 8 inch color multifunction liquid crystal displays for mission systems, flight, and maintenance data are located in the cockpit. The Thales Top Owl helmet mounted sight and display, with a 40 degrees field of vision, is part of the avionics package. Also outfitted by Top Owl are the assault helicopters Tiger and Royvok. German NH-90 helicopters are outfitted with EADS Defense Electronics Milo WS, a military adaptation of the Hellas laser-based helicopter obstacle warning system, thanks to a contract awarded in January 2008. Air-to-surface, air-to-air, and anti-submarine torpedoes are among the weapons that the NATO frigate helicopter is capable of carrying. The Tiger helicopter and the helicopters for France, Germany, Italy, Portugal, and Finland are equipped with EADS Defense Electronics Self-Protection Suite. The suite consists of an MBDA Saphir M chaff and flare dispenser, Thales TWE threat warning equipment with integrated radar warning and laser warning receivers and EADSAN and AAR-60 MILDS missile approach warning systems. The ALQ-211 integrated radio frequency countermeasures suite and ITTAN are available to Norwegian NFH. Swedish helicopters have an EW suite installed, provided by Saab Avionics and Avatronics. The NFH has a sonar suite, a magnetic anomaly detector, and a tactical forward-looking infrared FLIR, system installed in the nose. The Thales Underwater Systems Flash Sonic Sonar System, which combines the Flash Active Dipping Sonar with the TMS-2000 Sonobuoy Processing System, is installed on the French Navy NFH. A variation of the system, called Flash S, is used by the Norwegian and Swedish Navy NFH and is tailored for use in the Baltic Sea. The long-range active sonar of the helicopter is fitted to the Dutch, Italian, and German NFH. Formerly the division of L3 Communications, ELAC Nautic provides the Hellras dipping sonar. Elag Nautic was purchased by Wurzela in 2015, then in December 2020, the firm was fully sold to the UK-based technology startup cohort. A 360-degree surveillance radar from Thales, the European Navy, is installed beneath the nose of the NFH. Derived from Thales Ocean Master, ENR was created in collaboration with Galileo Avionic and EADS. 
Swedish NFH is equipped with a telephonic APS-143B3 Ocean Eye Multimode Surveillance Radar AEN. Both synthetic aperture radar and inverse synthetic aperture radar imaging modes are available with Ocean Eye. An integrated communications and identity management system is included with the NH90. There is air-to-air -air and air-to-ground communication via the secure radio system. German and French cooperation was used to build the TSC-2000 IFF, the friend or foe identification system provided by Thales. The helicopter has a secure Link 11 data link installed. Two RTM 322-019 engines provided by Rolls-Royce Turbo Mika power the NFH helicopter. GE aircraft engines and Avio jointly manufactured the T700N-T6E1 engine variant in response to the Italian demand. The engines have a FADIC system installed. Spain has also chosen a certain engine model. Rolls-Royce Turbo Mika certified an RTM322 version for use in hot and humid circumstances in August 2007 for use in Omani helicopters. The 1,900 kg capacity fuel tanks are equipped with self-sealing, crash-resistant cells from Uniroyal Engelberg Reifen, a German company with headquarters in Aachen. AFG makes the fuel management system. The auxiliary power unit powers the ground operation environmental control system and provides an electrical engine starting. It is derived from the micro-turbo section of the Labinal Group, which is currently a part of the French engine and aerospace components supplier Safran. In June 2000, an agreement was signed by the NATO Helicopter Management Agency on behalf of the participating nations for the manufacture of the first 298 NH-90S. The program called for the immediate manufacturing of 366 helicopters out of a total required production of 595 units. Safran's Euro FLIRTM, a next-generation electro-optical system, will be installed in the TFRA standard two configurations. Pilots, gunners, commandos, and loadmasters will all have displays and controls in the redesigned cockpit. Better mission planning will be possible thanks to the update. Removable doors and a fast rope beam to support side-mounted machine weapons from the rear will be features of the helicopter cabin. Moreover, foldable boarding steps and a sophisticated 3D map will be added. In addition, it is anticipated that the TFRA Standard 2 configuration will include a distributed aperture system with fixed infrared cameras and a digital sight display installed on a 3D vision helmet for improved pilot assistance in challenging circumstances and limited visibility. The Italian Navy's NH-90S in Step B configuration facilitates the integration of armament systems such as torpedoes and air-to-surface missiles. Advanced satellite communication systems with encryption are among the communication systems. A mission planning and analysis system is also included in the Step B design. It utilizes the Skyflight TM multi-helicopter flight and mission planning solution to provide multi-mission and multi-platform mission planning. 